I don't really go that route just because the whole wig being in, you know, all in your face and that white chicks moment, <laughs> you know, when you're trying to like kiss and like, I'm just not into that. On top of finding wig hair in your ass when you wake up in the morning, that's not a cute look, sis. So save the drag for the stage, not the bedroom. So now that I've done the show, it's really hard to kind of hide um, outside of drag. Still to this day, a lot of my sisters that I worked with didn't even know what I looked like outside of drag. So that was cool. But now, I would say, I mean, I embrace it all because it's like, that's what I signed up for. So it's really like refreshing when people say, oh my God, you look so good out of drag because, you know, I take pride in how I look. You know, a lot of people want to put us in a box being too femme or being masked, you know? That's not something that I necessarily identify with. I'm who I am. You know, I believe that we should embrace who we are completely. You know, if you're on the femme side, it's okay. That's why, like, drag gives us an opportunity to express ourselves. And outside of drag, you can be exactly who you are as well. So don't get caught up on labels. Be you.